Okay, here it is, H22 Accord Part 2. Um, I got this Prelude sitting here. And uh, this Prelude is actually going to be a donor of an H22 transmission. It has an engine in there, but it, it might be blown. I'm not too sure. But here she is. After a, a long time, about two years, and a lot of work done, a lot of trouble, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears. Not really tears, but <laughs> a lot of blood. A little bit of blood. Anyways, um, this is it. It's lowered on some 18s. You can see how low she is there. I have the VTEC dual overhead cam sticker, but I did it different from um, how it comes on the SIs or the Type Rs. I wanted it to be done that way. My neighbor actually did it for me there. Nice guy. Got my license plate. If you want to get the scoop on me, find out where I live and come to my house and like slice my throat. Got the exhaust. 2.5 inch straight back. It's a little cheap exhaust, but it was welded on there pretty well. You can see the swooping lines of the coupe here. Sunroof. It is an EX. I got the JDM black housing headlights, amber corner lights. Got the lift, which I installed myself, and the grill. By the way, I bought this off of eBay. This is the knockoff JDM grill. If you're gonna buy one of these grills, buy the Mugen type grill. If you have the money, buy it. This grill was $80 and it didn't fit. I bought it from a company called CMOD. Do not buy it from them. It took a lot of cutting just to get that thing in there. Well, cut the crap out. I'll start her up really quick for you here so you can hear how she sounds. <coughs> only has 119,000 miles on it. Love this car. There she is. You can see her. Alright, let's get out of here. Has a weird twiny, twinging sound. You know that uh, how should I say, rice sound, which I don't like, but hey, you can't win them all. There she is. Alright, recap of what was done. 97 to 01 Prelude um, power steering bracket. The mounts were loose. As you can see, that house port mount, has port mount, didn't get, to, um, get bo bolted in there properly. Broke the power steering line, so now I currently do not have power steering. Timing is off in here. Timing is off about a whole inch. When I corrected it to the proper markings, the car started running like shit, or like crap, sorry, excuse my language. Um, so I had to retard, I believe, re this is retarding the timing. I had to retard the timing to get it to run a little bit better. It's not running perfect. It lags horribly in the low end, but it moves really fast in the high end, and especially when VTEC kicks in. Um, I had to put a new starter. New front mount, new has port mount, 97 to 01, 822 throttle body. This is an OBD um, one motor. Um, newer distributor cap, newer um, throttle position sensor, new map sensor. This thing has a lot of new items. Um, new timing belt, we'll forget all about that. Uh, car still has low mileage. It runs. You know, a lot of people say that this car is uh, quick, but I don't think it's as quick as it should be. It has that problem with the um, with the timing. I don't know why, when I set the timing properly, it, it, it does this. And I would really like some help. Uh, you know, two years ago, I asked a question, you know, to throw it out there. And I've come a long way. As you can see, I'm very serious about this car. I've even got the H22 Trini waiting over there. You know, it's, it's running on a P13 because the guy who tuned my P28, uh, let's just say he wasn't that uh, good of a tuner. So I had to rip out the P28 and I put back the P13 in there. And if there's any suggestions, any tips, any help I could get from my YouTube community, I would really appreciate it. As I said, the main thing right now is the timing. I just need to get the timing done and then I'll work on um, getting it faster and uh, making it look prettier and painting it and things like that. Um, yeah, thank you. This is H22, H22 Accord Part 2. I'll go ahead and make a Part 3 in a couple months 
after I get it her running a little bit better and paint it up and um and in part three I'll give you uh, some videos of how the car runs. The car runs decently. I would say like a bit slower than a stock Civic SI. Um, when it's running properly, you know. I gotta throw it out up there, when it's running properly. Anyways. It, it, some, <clears throat> for example, with the timing problem, now as it set, sits now, to go from 3,000 to 4,000 RPM literally takes seconds. That's how bad it is. Well, once it gets into the high RPM, it rips. All right, uh, hopefully I'm not talking too much, but um, I'm not the best at a presentation, but there she is. I'll get a quick walk around here. Oh, and another thing, every once in a while, it'll overheat to like midway, but it won't go further than that. 